Hey guys, last week we drew this cute oil pastel Christmas tree and it was a lot of fun. So continuing from that, we're going to be making the actual card today and it's going to be super easy. Last week we drew this tree and to this tree I wanted to add some text so I added it on the very top layer so I will show you how that looks like. Now this is kind of optional so you don't really have to add the text if you don't want to but if you do want to add the text what I suggest is go to the menu on the top and add the text. And here you will just need to type in what you want to say and move that to where you want it to be. So that's how you add the text. And now we're just going to save this image so that we can use it for our card. So I'm going to save it as JPEG. And now we can use Canva to design our card. But first, you need to figure out the size of your paper. I'm using this paper and it is 8.5 by 11 and it's kind of like a card paper, like card stock. But you can use whatever paper you like, but you do need to figure out the size. So when we go back to Canva, uh, we'll go to create a design and type in the size of our paper, so 8.5. I already see the size right there, so I'm going to select that and I assume that it's going to be a blank template. But if your paper is a different size, make sure to put the right numbers in. As you can see, we have a blank design. So what we're going to do is now first divide the paper into four quarters. So let's go to this elements here and we go to shapes and select this line right here. Just click on that. And then I just want to rotate it to 90 degrees first. And then I'm going to stretch it out so that it covers the entire paper. And we're going to now move this line into the very center. And I like to use Canva for this step because it tells you when you're centered on the paper. So if it's in the center, it'll be aligned with that pink line like this. But if you're off the center, it won't be telling you that it's aligned. So that's why I like Canva for this step. And now we're going to add one more line diagonally. So we are going to stretch that out again. And although I think it's already in the center, I'm just going to move it around just to see if it was or if it wasn't. And there you go, it's aligned. Now we're ready to insert our design. And so let's go to uploads and just upload our image that we just saved. Let's bring that image in by clicking on it and we can just resize it so that it fits the size of those rectangles. So we can make two cards from this paper. So I'm going to resize it so that it fits into that top corner. And you'll want to make sure that it covers half of those lines, the control lines that we put there because that's kind of like our cutting line. So when we print it out, we want to cut into those lines. Once your design is aligned and placed, you can check if it is covering those lines, like one half of that line. So I can see that the bottom needs a little bit more pulling. That looks pretty well fitted, so I'm going to copy that image and copy it to the bottom so that we're getting two cards from this piece of paper. Now that the images are placed, we can delete these two black control lines because we really won't need to see it on our printed paper. But when we take it out, you'll see this white line in between the two images. 
And if you don't like that, you can resize the images to cover it or leave it so that you can kind of tell where to cut when you print it out. But I'm going to resize it so that I don't have to see that line. I can still see it, so I'm going to resize the top image, pull it down a little bit, and there you go. Once that's done, we can finally save the image so that we can print it out. I'm going to go to download and save it as a JPEG. You can save it as a PDF as well. And download it and just print it out. For this design, we put an image on the right side, but I think it'll be very professional looking if you put a very simple design on the left side as well. I hope you guys get a chance to make this card for your family and friends this holiday season. It's really special since you get to showcase your artwork and add some personal touch to it. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.